Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because can you guess what it is yet? It's the Bay Louise Advent Calendar. It's so big. It's also quite heavy. Um, but we're going to be unboxing this. If you don't want to see any spoilers, I would suggest you click off this video right now. There's loads of other videos on my channel that you can check out. Um, and loads of other P. Louise bits on my channel that you can check out. Now I am doing Vlogmas this year, but I thought I would open this for you guys because there is a few still left in stock. So I thought you guys might want to see before you buy. I knew I was going to love this, but personally I'm so nosy and I can't wait until December to see what's inside. So I thought I might as well film it um, because I normally watch somebody else's video on what's inside my advent calendar. So without further ado, we're going to crack straight in. So this does light up. We're going to do some cute little B-roll footage showing you all the lights and all that kind of business. Um, but I am just interested in the makeup so okie dokie we've got multiple layers here so i don't know how easy it's going to be to find things but i have found box number one okay so this is meant to have 25 unreleased products in it so first off we've got the dream droplets liquid highlighter in pot of gold have a look what this one looks like so i'm guessing this is going to be super vibrant because it's p louise and everything is always super vibrant um this is oh okay this is like a cute little tube um it looks like a really beautiful just ever so slightly gold highlighter i am excited to get to december the first and be able to give that a try because i am gonna pop everything back in and open it on the days. I am also going to be doing shorts um, every day. So if you do want to see me open this every day rather than spoiling it all for yourself, tune in for those as well. Right. Okay. Number two. Okay. In box number two, which looks like this, we have oh one of the little four pan quads. I think we got one of these in last year's. And I really did enjoy it. It was like a purpley colour. I believe there's like a nude theme to everything this year. I mean, look how cute that is. Let's just block my face out there. Look how cute it is. And those are the shades in that one. So it's kind of like a warm orange. It's got cute little gingerbread people in it. Okay. Right. Find number three. Number three is a little bit deeper and a little bit squarer. Oh, okay, so we've got another one of the Magical Memories quads. Uh, so this one's Magical Memories. I don't know what the other one was called, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't, didn't look at that. Just got distracted by the eyeshadows. And this one, oh, it's got like a cute little pink baking scene on it. And this one is a lot darker. This is kind of giving me like Holiday glam smoky eyes. Very pretty. Okay, number four. Where are you? Okay, ooh, this is the big boy. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. It feels like getting a present every day. It's so much fun. Ooh, this is the, it's the icing on the top powder blush palette. That's what that one looks like. And inside, ooh, these are beautiful. We've got eight different shades of all kind of like peachy tones. These are gorgeous. You know I am a blush whoa. So he's happy to receive any kind of blush stuff in my mystery boxes, in advent calendars, in anything. I'm sort of trying to put these back as they were um, without mixing them up. Then we've got number five, which is another big boy. Is it another blush palette? I'm not going to be upset if it is. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I know some people won't love the fact that there might be two blush palettes. 
Okay, this is the take the whisk or lose the chance. It's another blush palette. <laughs> How beautiful is that one? All this packaging is so cute and festive. I love it. Right, okay. Ooh, this one is kind of more orange toned. That is beautiful. I love that they've gone for kind of more like fall shades rather than like some of the really, really bright pinks that they've been releasing, which as much as I love a bright pink blush, I don't feel like I'm gonna get much use out of it at this time of year. And even more excitingly, number six is big as well. Right, number six is another one of these big ones. Let's see what we've got here. This is Just Roll With It Powder Bronzer Palette. Okay. So already, if you're trying to build your kit up, this this is gonna be the perfect advent calendar for you. Um, because we're getting everything. Oh, pretty cool, pretty different functions. That is gorgeous. That goes from super, super light to super, super dark. Some of these are quite orange toned, but for me, I love a warm toned bronzer. So they look like shades I'm gonna really enjoy using. All right, let's find number seven. Just trying to get it back in. Dookie dookie. Right, number seven, where are you? Oh, number seven is hidden. Right, okay, got it. Seven secured. Right, number seven. What have we got in here? This is a Watch Me Whip Vibrating Eye Cream. Excuse me, Miss Louise. A what? Um, so I'm not gonna open this one because it's all sealed and it's just an eye cream. I'm kind of scared of it. So I'm just gonna pop this one back in the box and uh, we'll find out a little bit more about that on December the 7th. <laughs> Cause I'm going to on the videos that I'm gonna do, the like shorts I'm gonna do with opening this stuff. I'm gonna swatch everything. I'm gonna get it all out, show you up close personal, but I just wanted to open it today. Right, numero eight, where are you? 16, 21, eight, hey, we found it. Right, okay, number eight is a heavy one. Let's have a look. Okay, so number eight is, Ooh, I still believe a spray of magic body mist. So this looks like a perfume. I'm very excited to smell that. I'm hoping it's kind of festive and gingery. Makes sense why it's at the bottom now. Although quite stressful. So that is number eight. Number nine. This one. Ooh, we love, 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 love a juice box. This is the Winter Wish juice box. I'm thinking this is gonna be like mulled wine. So I'm very excited to try that one um, because I love a good bit of mulled wine. Um, I did know there was gonna be a bad bitch in here, but I'm very glad to see it's like a unreleased shade. Right, where did I find number 10? Number 10 is here. So this one is number 10. Ooh, this is a Gypsy Drip. Ooh, in the same kind of scent as a Spice Spice Baby. That's what that one looks like. So this one is a lip mask and a lip scrub. I'm kind of hoping we get one of the new um, balmy duos as well, because the one that came in my um, budget box was watermelon and I think hate watermelon flavoured things. Right, number 11. Okay, what have we got in here? Ooh, looks like some kind of skincare. Don't scroll, roll, facial cleanser. Mm. Okay, that is kind of interesting. It's like a roll, I think. Are we, are we double cleansing with this? Is this a second cleanse or? Okay, I'm intrigued to have a play around that one. It looks like it's got two like cooling balls on it. So I'm intrigued by that one very much so. 
Right, where did I pull that from? There? Yeah, I think so. Okay. What number are we on? 12? Are we on 12? I think so. I'm trying to put this back, but I'm going to have no idea. Where's number 12? Has anybody seen number 12? 19 and 15 and 17. But where is 12? It must be in this one then. 16, 11, 9. It's right at the bottom. I'm just an idiot. Okay. Number 12. This one feels heavy as well. Ooh, what are you? I look like a boot. Ooh, okay, this is the perfect blend recipe book brush. Oh my god. We've literally got an entire set of brushes here. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brushes. I don't know how long you can see those, but like as I said, we'll be going through all the shorts and everything to show you properly. But a whole ten piece set of brushes. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is worth the money already. I'm like almost 90% sure. Um, obviously, most of it's unreleased, so it's kind of hard to work it out. Um, but yeah, amazing so far. We have number 13 and 14, which are next to each other. It's very easy for me to find. This is 13. This is On The Lips Lipstick Palette. Of Aragondo. Do we think this is going to be like berry tones? Because I hope so. Oh, okay. It's nudes. It's nudes, but it is Kila Beats. We don't really do any sort of deeper lip shades in Kila Beats, but I do like the fact it's got a little lip brush. These look cute. I'm going to be honest, I've not used the lipstick palette we got in the budget boxes. Maybe like in like June, July time. Um, because I'm not really a lipstick palette girl. I don't really go anywhere that I'm out for less time than like enough time to, to redo my lipstick, if that makes sense. Number 14. What are we? Oh, are we lashes? I love P. Louise lashes. La bleh, bleh, bleh. I love P. Louise lashes. This is the Wispy Workshop. These all look gorgeous. So that's that one. All right, now we are on the search for number 15. Okay, number 15. Mm. We've got a cheek of it. This is in Baked Biscuit, which looks like a, it's kind of like a cross between, <laughs> sorry, I'm just looking at it, not messing up the packaging. Um, this is kind of cross between raspberry ribbon and something a little more neutral. I like the look of that one a lot. Right, numero 16, which we pulled out earlier. Here's one I made earlier. This one, what have we got here? The wonderful world of Louise lip pencil. It says lip pencil on the back. Uh, to be lives with a tinkering team of pretty parcel packers, my longing lips have some special requests that require your attention. So that's what that one looks like. It is adorable. Let's have a gander inside. The bottom. So the, the packaging is not ruined for the reels and the, the shorts and you, you know what I mean. The, the content. The content. Okay, so this is... Ooh, a six piece lip set. I'm just gonna show you the colors from there. Um, so all nudes varying from right, like really deep to really light. Um, and I believe these are all the smoochy lip pencils. Oh, I buggered this up now because I pulled that out. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, shit. It's all going so well. Uh, this last one does not want to go back in. Go back in! Now one, another one's come out now. That was almost a disaster, but disaster averted there. I'm just going to stick that back down. 
I'm going to put it back in its box. Which box did it come out of? It came out of 16. <laughs> okay, that was stressful. That was, that was not what I expected to be doing. Um, we're we're going to leave, leave that alone now. Okay, number 17. Let's hope this one is easier to see. Okay, number, ooh, okay. This is a double, a double box. We love a double box. I've got this kind of cleansing, maybe a mask brush. This is the, ooh, don't clout your clay dough, clay mass. That's what that one looks like. Loads of gingerbread men, as with all the packaging. That sounds amazing, and I'm excited to smell it. I hope it smells like gingerbread. Right, let's pop some of this back. Right, 17 and 15, you were in there, and then we've got 19, where is number 18? Here we go. I remember where this one was. Number 18. Sounds like maracas, probably not maracas, but maybe. Okay, ooh, this is the hundreds and thousands of dreamy sprinkle canis wherever you go bath caviar again i'm excited to smell those i really really like p louise bath products um they are just really nice like there's nothing overly amazing about them um they're just really nice makes you feel a little bit more like luxurious okay numero 19 on the home stretch this is ooh. The Drippin' and Drizzle Lip Gloss Duo. So, what shades have we got in here? Are these new shades? Are these re-release shades? So it's pour it up and just a drizzle and they look to be like some of the shiny, um, sparkly kind of toppery glosses that P. Louise does, um, which I do enjoy her lip drips, but I haven't actually tried the sparkly ones yet. So they are beautiful. I'm excited to give those a go. Right, okay, number 20. I feel like we're on number 20 already. I've flown through this because I'm so excited. Right, number 20, we've got another, another long boy. Ooh, this is the finishing touch all over body glow in Oh Honey. Now, I'm not really a body glow person, purely because I am the shade of Casper the Ghost. However, I do like a bit of fake tan in the summer. Or to be fair, during party season. So that might be interesting. I'm intrigued to try that one. Perhaps not excited, more intrigued. <laughs> right, number 21. It's number 21. What have we got in here? Okay, looks like another kind of skincare. The thicker the filter, ultra rich cream. Okay, are we maybe a treat for magic cream by Charlotte Tilbury? We will have to see. But I like a rich cream, and as I've said, um, I like P. Louise skincare. I think it's really nice. Um, along with bath care, I think they're both nice products. Right, numero 22. This could be another palette, maybe. This is the Bake Your Move Powder Highlighter Palette. There literally is. If you are setting up a kit, there is kind of everything like face-wise in here, which I think is great. This is, ooh, these are pretty. These look like the highlighters that come in like the pink quilted pans. I'm very intrigued to give those a go because all the highlighters I've got from her um, have come in budget boxes and are too dark so I've only ever used them as eyeshadows so I'm excited to give them a go on the face. 23. This is another long one and in this one we have, looks like another skincare item, this is the glossy and glazed all over body glow. Ooh, okay. This looks to be like a, a cream, whereas the other one I'm guessing was an oil. I'm just gonna take this one off and see if I can see anything. No, I can't, and I've dropped the lid, for God's sake. Uh, okay, this is like, this is like fake tan, like dark. 
let's do the last two boxes and get this uh, right kind of over with. Hopefully you enjoyed the B-roll because from the B-roll it's been chaos. <laughs> so hopefully the B-roll was nice and you enjoyed that. Right, okay. Can't find number 24. See, I feel like there's something in the train, but I can't get in the bloody train. 2,000 years later. Aha! Found it. It was in the train. Number 24. That was chaos. <laughs> okay, this is the nice and iced seeing double blush duo. Okay, this is in a cute little heart compact. I knew it was in the train. Ooh, so we've got a very bright pink. And then we have got, oh, a cream as well. Ooh, I like this. I like this packaging, it's adorable as well. It's giving me like Polly Pocket vibes. And that's what that one looks like. Okie dokie. Bloody knew it was in the train. Oh, I feel very, very accomplished right now. Okay, so we're gonna slot that back in to the train. Right, so it's got like a little like cover over it. Okay, numero 25. I think we've got a big eyeshadow palette here. I'm excited. Right, okay, this is the Can I Have a Taste palette for Eye and Face. This is so damn cute. Let's have a look inside. What do you look like, palette? <laughs> oh my god, it won't come out with bloody what's in my body. The thingy maybe. Oh, this looks pretty. This looks neutral but cool. Oh, this is not as neutral as it looks. It is orange. That is absolutely gorgeous. I much, much prefer these kind of big Be Louise palettes than the book ones. I could much rather it was in this format, but that looks amazing. If you are an MUA, damn. Right, I'm just gonna pop this back in here. So we can go back in its box to go back in its box. Um, so that is the P. Louise advent calendar. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had such fun filming it. A little traumatic at times, a little chaotic at times, but would it be me if it wasn't a little bit like that? Um, let me know if you picked up this advent calendar. Let me know if you think it's worth the money. Um, I'm really impressed. I think there's a great amount of products in here. There's a really varied kind of types of products. Um, last year's was a little bit repetitive. Um, I feel like this year's is slightly more kind of making sure you're getting sort of everything in your calendar. So I do hope you did enjoy this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, hit the bell icon and YouTube will notify you every time I post. As I said, I'm doing Vlogmas in December. This is gonna be a new video up every single day. Um, you've been fabulous. I've been Cole of Ball and I'll see you next time. Bye.